Area 51. Man, Peso, we going by it. Left a little bit. We really going to get into like a lot of political things and a lot of shit that's going on in the world. I really don't be touching on them bases, but um, <clears throat> Area, 50, Area 51 definitely going to be touching on, on, on them a lot. Like a, a whole lot. I'm going to work with... Uh, Mm. I got a couple, man. Y'all just gotta stay tuned in to see who's gonna be on that one. Probably sometime the end of January. Yeah, like end of January, we're gonna drop that. Yeah, first, that's, I'm, I'm actually currently working on that, on that right now while we're in the studio. Um, that joint dope is like, you know, um, <clears> on <throat> some Helmets 2 shit. Uh, I got a big record, me, uh, Chill Moody and uh, Theodore Graham the remix of High Top Fade that was on Home It's On. We went through the remix on uh, First Footprint. Um, it's gonna be crazy, man. That that shit gonna be dope too. I mean, astronauts is uh, really just <clears throat> being in a different world, being on another level, really just being yourself and um, just to break break everything down. A lot of people don't even know, but. Guy Buford is a he's the first black astronaut. He's from West Philadelphia. So, you know, that's like whoever think this guy from West Philadelphia would be the first black astronaut. So it was like, damn, that's crazy. That's like being a first that's like Barack Obama being a president of the sun. That mean you can do anything, you know, you want to do, sky's the limits, you know. So that's that astronaut life. I don't know what's up with that. We got a lot, we got a lot of great talent in Philadelphia, man. A lot. I don't, I don't know what the problem is, but man, they gotta be fixed because this is too much great talent, man. We definitely got some guys out here that really step up and, and, and try to help, man. For those who do, I salute y'all. You know, it, it, it come together real soon, though, man. Cause we grinding, we all out here grinding, man. I don't really look at it like that, you know. I just grind. I don't get caught up in, into the hype and what people say. I just, I just grind and um, just stay true to what I'm doing and, and just keep it moving. I like LA music from even, even way back then when when Cuban them niggas was doing it. Them niggas stuck together. If you look at NWA, it was like six of them niggas, I think. There was a couple of them. I'm not sure how many niggas was in the group, but um, it was more than one nigga, and, and they stuck together. And it was, it was rise, and even to like the, the the new how they doing it now, like with the black hippie, like Kendrick Lamar, J Rock, and them niggas, they all sticking together, man. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful thing, I think. Um, and then basically that's what we trying to do in Philly, man. You know that new wave shit. We trying to do the same exact thing, man. Blind gang, they totally left field. They my boys, I fuck with them heavy because they just, like, you know, that whole astronaut life shit just being it. So, um, the frat, Theodore Graham, they my brothers, the same thing. They being, they, they being themselves and on some whole spaced out shit. Um, and as far as everybody else in Philly, you know, that new wave shit, me, Sam Savage. Um, it's dope, man. Just, just, just urban kids just making great music, man. That's what that shit really is, man. That shit, honestly, I might be driving in my car and fucking come up with a hook like I did with Breaking Bang and call Pace like, yo, I got this crazy ass hook. I'm on my way to your crib now. All right. I might be in the studio fucking three, four hours trying to come up with a hook. You know, you know, just about, you know, what mood I'm in, how I'm feeling that, that, you know, particular day. Shit was real, man. My father, he got killed when I was a young age. You know, my mom was incarcerated when I was a young age. Um, shit was, shit was just, shit was crazy, man. My grandma and my grandfather, they raised me. Um, no typical kid. Bags of ball, shit like that. But I just, I just fell in love to that music shit. I listened to uh, Cool J, Run DMC, um, Big Daddy Kane, Rock Kim. I just fell in love with that shit. So all, all the pain that I was going through, I just started jotting that shit down, writing that shit, and just, you know, putting that shit out there. Once I hear a beat, I decide like, 
on how I'm gonna like go in on it. Like it might be some fast shit or some slow shit. Just depending on, on, on how the beat is and how I'm really feeling. Um far as that versatility, I mean, I had a conversation with DJ Diamond Cousin. She was like, um, damn mind, like you can um you can do any style you want. She was like, uh, you like you like the Philly version of Wild Light. And that was a compliment. I fuck with Wild Light and I see what he do. He could go perform with J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Then the next day he could go perform with Young Jeezy and Rick Ross. So if you you weigh my situation out, it's the same thing. I could go perform with Chill Moody, Blind Gang Theodore Grams, uh, Gilbert Forte. Then I could go perform with Young Savage, Young Sam, so forth, so forth. So same thing. Skate one, I always had a love. For like, I'm cool on the board. I ain't, I ain't the greatest for nothing like that. Um, I just got a, a, a passion for. It. I think it's, I think it's dope. Picked it up like a, as a hobby or whatever. Um, just something different. I'm in love with the whole culture, you know, the art, the sneakers, all that. I'm just in love with that, man. I, I really enjoy it. Shout out to my boy Ann. He real nice when they skateboard too.